if there is a particular uh, strand in my work that I think is profound and yet maybe to be appreciated is that I didn't import concepts from place to place but actually subordinated myself to trying to understand the essence of a place. Design is about making things work and fit and respond to their purpose. And that is for me the kind of checklist of is my architecture timeless? Is it responsive in such a way that it's likely to be meaningful on a long-term basis? In my early parts of my career, I was quite obsessed with geometry and with the notion of creating three-dimensional spatial components as building blocks for construction. Habitat is an example where boxes form houses. But then I tried to carry that thought process to other typologies. At some point I realized that different typologies require different systems and that there's a wide variety of building systems, all of which could lead to a wider variety of expressions. So this was a big lesson, a lesson of the, the language of my building. As an architect committed to building and impacting the environment, to design without the intention of building is a failure by definition because it's not architecture. For those who design in order to build, not succeeding in building is not a failure. There are different reasons why things don't get built, but they form a fascinating track through one's thoughts and careers. Probably more than 50% of my work is unbuilt. When I review that unbuilt work, some of it is the most significant work I've done. The Habitat 67 that got built is one-fifth of the original complex. Had the original been built, perhaps the course of architecture in this century would have been different. When you've been an architect 50 years and you already had three buildings demolished, and you see the transformation that's taking place. Very little or none of it is forever. I've seen architecture go from profound concerns for society as a whole to a period of interest in tantalizing society by the possibilities of architecture. I've seen the public awed by certain buildings because of their notoriety for a while, but there's a quality of being impressed and there's a quality of affection and loving something. I go to Habitat today, it's 50 years old and not just to my mind but almost to every observer, it's as fresh as ever, it's as relevant as ever. You know, after years of being semi-ignored, all of a sudden the ideas of Habitat are all over the place. The question of contemporary has to do with the values a building represents. Contemporary building is one that seizes the spirit of the time as well as the technology of the time in a way that has meaning that, that lasts.